So this video was supposed to be on doing the ambient lighting on the rear doors and I couldn't do that because when I started filming and when I took the whole door card off and I took everything apart I realized that I could not tap into the electric window switch because that was my plan and the reason for that is because everything on this rear door is controlled by a central control module and that module controls the central locking as well as the auto unlock when you pull the handle open and the electric window so the electric window switch plugs into this module and i measured the voltage there's like 0.01 volts going to the electric window switch for the light and i found the, the wire on the switch for the light but there wasn't enough power to create a nice bright ambient light the light on this switch only works when the engine is running or the ignition is on. So that wasn't ideal for me. So I'm currently investigating a different option on how to get ambient lighting on the rear doors and I haven't been able to do that yet. Um, but I do have a plan and if that plan works out successfully then I will be doing a video on ambient lighting for the rear door. But for now it's really not possible until I can figure out how to do it. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about that just now but this video is going to be on how to install ambient lighting in the rear air vents and I think it's going to look very very nice so let's give it a go. So in order to get this off you just need to unclip the side of your center console trim. Now do that on both sides and get your arm rest up you got to pull up on this and there are two clips holding it in place underneath you just got to get these clips undone and then that one and we are done they're just some clips that hold it in and um, there are three clips there's one over there one over there and there's one down there and the same story on this side just unclip those clips and once you have those unclipped because those clips clip into the side of your uh, vent over here make sure that your armrest is in the upright position i sound like a flight attendant and then you can pry the top of your air vents because it's going to be sitting like that you can pry the top off there are two clips at the bottom and they clip in here into these metal brackets here and that's what they look like over there there's one there and there's one there i apologize for the lighting i'm in the garage it's very hot today and um, so i need to film inside the garage and therefore i have this led light shining here so i can show you guys what's going on now when you unclip these my left one wouldn't unclip and i actually snagged my finger on this piece over here uh, so be careful because it is a Jaguar, it does like to draw blood. You don't have to unclip the uh, plug for the lighter, just let it dangle here because I'm going to be working in here. I kind of kept my options open. So I have a normal blue LED and I have the ear lighting. What I'm planning on doing is I'm actually going to put my ear lighting strip inside here. So it's going to light up the entire inside of the vent and Hopefully it's going to create some kind of U inside here. I don't know yet. As for the wiring, because my original cable that I brought through has these little connectors on them. Now I've unplugged my LED light that's sitting here. This is the plug for it and it's a female plug and then the male plug is the main loom that's coming from the front of the car. So what I've done is I've actually created a loom for this whole setup because I do want to still attempt to do the rear doors. Now because of the fact that I can't do the rear doors or I can't connect them to the light switch, maybe if I remove the B pillar trim over here I can get to into this concertina grommet over here and get my cable through into the door. 
So that's something that I still need to investigate and see if it's possible because I'm pretty sure that the wires in here, uh, there are a lot of them and I don't know if there's going to be space for an additional wire to go through there. So that's something I'm, I need to investigate and see if it's possible. If it's possible, well then I'll be doing a video on doing rear door ambient lighting. What I've done in preparation for that is I have created a loom that is going to cater for future requirements. Now these two are for the LED lights down here. So one is going to plug into the main loom that's coming from the front of the car and the other one's going to plug into the LED lights there. This plug is for my future proofing for in case I can get a wire or cable through to the rear doors. And this plug over here is going to lead to my lights over here. So I'm going to plug everything in now and just see if I did my wiring job correctly. Right, so I've connected all my cables and I just want to show you down here. We actually have the main loom plugged in over there. I've got my LED lights plugged in there. There's my plug for my rear door. And then the cable that runs to my LED lighting in here. Now what I've done is I've just stuck the blue LED lighting in here for now to see what effect that actually has and I really like this. And I actually like the blue to be honest with you and uh, it's a very very nice effect. I'm very very happy with that. So I'm just going to take a look at the crystal blue and see what that looks like inside there. I've got the crystal blue ear lighting in there but I can barely see it and I'm really not happy with that result. So I think I'm going to go with the blue. I ran the cable underneath the metal bracket so that it comes out inside here and that you don't see anything coming through over the trim over here. So you know just get your your cable through any holes that you can see and you can see if you look from this side there are plenty holes there where you can get your cable through and you can get it to work really nicely. And now I'm just going to hide my cables. I've run the cable underneath from the back, underneath this lip over here. And you'll see there my cable comes out. And I'm going to tuck it in to um, my fingers bleeding. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck it in there into the carpet like that. And what I've done is always look for a join in the carpet because that's going to be your best bet to hide your cable and the seat rail is extremely flush with the carpet so here where there's a join it's the only place you can actually get your cable through so you can see there I managed to get my cable underneath the seat rail and this is the cable from my main loom which I brought through under the front of the seat and I'm going to plug the two in and I'm going to hide them in the cavity of the carpet over here so that they're out of the way and if the car ever gets vacuumed, no one's going to snag the vacuum on any of these cables. So this is what one's going to see. I'm six foot and uh, you know, this is my seating position in the rear seat. And if you close the vents, you're not really going to see any light coming through. Maybe just a slight hue in the background, but it's not bad. Looks very nice actually. And um, yeah. I'm very very happy with it. Now keep in mind my, my seats, my front seats are way forward right now. So normally one would not see that. Just want to show you guys with the seat in the normal position. This is what it looks like. This is my driving position by the way. So I'm pretty tall so I sit pretty far back. But that's what we are looking at. And we've got a nice ambiance in the back of the car. 
So I'll do some night shots and show you guys what it looks like with everything on. Well, there you go guys. That's another job done on the car and I'm very, very happy with the results. I think it came out very, very nice. And I think if I can successfully get ambient lighting on the rear doors, the rear of this car is gonna be a really, really nice place to be at night. And uh, the front is very nice to be at night. And I'm very happy with the ambient lighting that I've done in the front. So as you can see, it's actually very easy to do the rear air vents. And if you want to do this yourself, if you've already done the front of your car and you've got that loom going underneath the seat and you've got all those little clips, you just need to make sure you've, you do all your prep work with creating your looms and you've got to make sure that you use those little clips because that is why I use those clips in the first place. So that if I wanted to expand on the lighting at any point in time, I can do that. And I can just attach another clip or make up another loom with a clip and then plug that into my main loom that's coming underneath the seats and then run another loom from there. And the nice thing about that is that all the ambient lighting in the car is actually dimmable. So if I dim it over here on my central control for all the lighting in the car, all the ambient lighting, including the doors, will also dim. And that is what I want for the rear doors as well. So if I can successfully hook up a loom and get it through this concertina over here into the door, that would mean removing the B-pillar trim on the car so that I can get access and get my, my cable from underneath the carpet into the body of the car and get it through this concertina uh, grommet over here and then get it into the door. I can then pull it through where the wires come through from inside the door into the actual area where the door card is and once I can do that um, well then it's very easy to hook up the uh, lighting so thank you for watching stay tuned and let's see if I can actually get the rear doors done at some point in time cheers <laughs>